Ever pondered how Air Arabia, the Middle East's first low-cost carrier, came into existence? Well, our story begins in the year 2003. Amidst the vast deserts and towering skyscrapers of the United Arab Emirates, an idea was born. An idea to create a new kind of airline. One that was efficient, reliable, and above all, affordable. This was the birth of Air Arabia. The airline's initial operations were humble yet ambitious. Their goal was not just to fly planes but to transform the way people in the Middle East traveled. And so, on the 28th of October, 2003, Air Arabia took to the skies for the very first time with a flight to Bahrain. This wasn't just another flight, it marked the dawn of a new era, an era of affordable air travel. In just a year of operations, Air Arabia was already writing a success story. So, how did Air Arabia transform from a single aircraft operator to a fleet of more than 50 aircraft today? Let's delve into the journey that Air Arabia has traveled to reach its current heights. From its humble beginnings, Air Arabia embarked on a course of steady expansion. It wasn't just about adding more planes to its fleet. Air Arabia was establishing a robust network that would span continents. It set its sights on the world, and with each passing year, it extended its reach further. Air Arabia's first major milestone came when it expanded its operational base beyond the borders of the United Arab Emirates. It established hubs in Morocco and Egypt, effectively creating a bridge that connected the Middle East, Africa, and Europe. This move not only expanded Air Arabia's geographical reach, but also increased its accessibility to millions of potential passengers. But Air Arabia didn't stop there. It went on to open a custom-built terminal at Sharjah International Airport. This was not just a terminal, it was a statement. A statement that Air Arabia was here to stay, and it was poised to change the travel landscape forever. Over the years, Air Arabia's growth has been nothing short of phenomenal. Its passenger numbers have soared, and the destinations it serves have multiplied. Today, it flies to over 150 destinations across the Middle East, North Africa, Asia, and Europe. That's a far cry from its early days, when it operated a single route with just one aircraft. Every step of the way, Air Arabia has stayed true to its low-cost business model. It has proven that affordable air travel doesn't have to mean compromising on quality or comfort. It has shown that low cost can also mean high value. The growth of Air Arabia is a testament to the strength of the low-cost business model in the Middle East. It's a story of how an airline can rise from a single aircraft operator to a major player on the global stage. It's a story of growth, expansion, and the power of a dream. What sets Air Arabia apart in the crowded skies of budget airlines? In a world where airlines are a dime a dozen, Air Arabia has managed to carve a niche for itself through constant innovation and a commitment to improving the passenger experience. They've introduced services that are often overlooked by budget airlines. For instance, they offer pre-booked meals, allowing passengers to choose from a variety of dishes to satiate their mid-air cravings. They also provide extra legroom seats because who doesn't love a bit more space to stretch out on a long flight? But it's not just these services that set them apart. Air Arabia has been recognized for its excellence numerous times. They've been showered with accolades including the prestigious Low Cost Carrier of the Year Award. It's clear that they're not just another budget airline, they've taken budget air travel and transformed it. Air Arabia has indeed redefined budget air travel, without compromising on quality. Where stands Air Arabia today in the global aviation industry? Air Arabia, the first low-cost carrier in the Middle East and North Africa, has carved out a significant niche in the aviation market. With its robust financial performance, it has proven its resilience and adaptability, even in turbulent times. The airline's contribution to the UAE economy is not insignificant either, providing thousands of jobs and boosting tourism revenues. But Air Arabia isn't resting on its laurels. Looking to the future, the airline has ambitious plans for growth. This includes fleet expansion with orders for new fuel-efficient aircraft that will enable it to serve even more destinations worldwide. Always innovating, Air Arabia remains committed to delivering high-quality, affordable air travel, improving connectivity, and fostering economic growth. So as we gaze into the horizon, one thing is clear. Air Arabia continues to soar high, pioneering affordable air travel in the Middle East. So, what did we learn today about Air Arabia? We traced back to its humble beginnings, charted its impressive growth and expansion. We marveled at the innovative strides it made and the significant achievements it garnered. We also peeked into Air Arabia's present and future teeming with promise and potential. This journey through time with Air Arabia has shown us the power of vision, innovation, and a customer-focused approach. 
Indeed, Air Arabia's journey is a remarkable example of how vision, innovation, and customer centricity can drive success in the competitive world of aviation.